Hey everyone, uh, Frosty here. So this is video number two of the tactical play-by-play -play with Amir Jungle. Um, super excited to make these videos. I've been wanting to make these for a while, and I want to give a shout out to Boku for giving me feedback on the first video. I asked our Discord to watch the video and provide feedback, and he gave me really good feedback. Um, if you're curious, the feedback was to watch these ahead of time so I know what's going to happen so I can give you the play-by-play. I, I really do want to do that. Uh, I, I'm really pressed for time because I'm doing like Frosty Jam releases uh, for two Halloween albums and a playlist. Uh, you could actually check those out if you go to Frosty Jam's YouTube or you could check out Frosty Jam's on Spotify. There's a brand new playlist for Halloween, copyright free. You can use it. There's the Beat Live drop. Okay, um, I probably will start doing that, but I really want more of your feedback. Like, do you guys like a raw reaction of, hey, I don't remember this game. Here's what I would be thinking if I was playing this fresh. Or do you want me to review the game first and then tell you what happens? Um, that, that's really up to you guys. So standard build here with my Amir jungle. I told you I, I won't be going magical Amir um, until I get to play with the builds. I have not had a chance to do that. I've been rendering videos uh, for my other channel, uh, Frosty Jams Music, uh, for like the last three days. Like nonstop. Like one of the renders was like a, I think it was like a 70 hour render and I had to reduce it. I had to reduce the quality so it wouldn't be 70 hours. But doing a standard build, I got uh, Boombas and an Axe. Um, that that Boombas and an Axe with the true damage allows me to box early. Okay, so my guys were going to invade. This is Boku at support, and then I have my ADC. They're invading. I really should be jumping in here, but I'm waiting for that jungle. I'm waiting to isolate the jungle one-on-one. -on -one. He never comes. Boku dies here, and I go in way too late. So this is my fault. I really should have gone in. I really wanted that jungle. They got a double kill. I don't think I'm going to be able to pull this off. Nope. So he gets away. So huge failure on my part. I really should have gone in to turn that numbers game. Remember last video? Never fight a fair fight. That's what I'm talking about. I allowed a fair fight to happen. My team lost because I didn't go in. Uh, next time I would go in. And if you really want to, you can disengage that if that uh, jungle shows up. But that's what I was waiting for. So I might be in trouble here. No, I'm good. So what I did was uh, Boku actually recommended this as well, is that if you double stack your potions, uh, it looks like the healing does heal faster. But what Funkbot pointed out is if you stack your potions, it doesn't increase the time. So you get a really fast heal without a time increase. I wasn't sure if that was really the case there, but I did it anyway, and it looked like it worked. So maybe it didn't. Maybe it just felt like it. But I've got one kill. I got my speed buff. I see Lady Frost at middle. Nuwa survived. And so I don't need to go save her. A middle gank would have turned it a 2v1 against me. You know, game theory wise, that's not good. You don't want that 2v1. Um, you can make better decisions. So either case, doesn't matter. I got invaded uh, by the Fenru jungle. Doesn't look good here. I might die. Let's see what happens. So I see Lady Frost is... Uh, coming through and trying to attack through the rear. She's probably on comms letting me know that. So she's going. I'm here. Uh, what do I do here? Okay, so I back out. And I tell her, I probably tell her to back out if she said she's backing out. Okay, so we survived. Still not good. Um, they now got three kills to our two. I only have one of those. Okay, so back to base. I'm just building my axe. I actually like level two axe and it really lets you duel quickly. But I'm behind here. I'm level 2. I should be level 3 by now. Uh, at 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Uh, I, I can... Well... Yeah, see, New Oz is level 3. So Lady Frost is level 3. Both mids are level 3. I probably should be level 3. I'm only one minion away. So I'm looking over here on solo. Probably seeing if we could get a chalk kill. And I think I go for this here. Yep. So... Yeah, I... I, I I go straight for it. So one thing I've been trying to do with Amir jungle uh, lately is I I try to do my two first so I could get a proc and then once they use their escape then I freeze. But you can see I missed the freeze there, did good damage, and do we get this off? I think we do off the corner. Boom. Yep. Okay, so one thing I like to do that I've been doing with Amir for a long time is notice that the freeze, his number three, is a fan. It's in a fan cone pattern. So you can actually get further freezes if you use the corner of the cone instead of the front. Had I used the front, he would have gone, uh, gotten away. So what I did is I angled myself to the right of him while he was running left. So I hit him with the very corner of the cone. 
So this is just something that I almost do automatically. Um, but I, I saw it there. Boom. Freeze. I get attacked by Fenrir. Turn around. Really, I think I'm just trying to poke and chase him away. But he made a fatal mistake. He tried to hide. Tried to be cute. Then he tried to double back. I got walls, bro. I'm not going to fall for that. So, almost died there. I think I'm heading back. And if I remember, I think Fenrir almost gets me. Boom. I'm out. Yep. So I remember that part. All right, so we're ju we're just trying to finish this Hydra's Lament. So every time I auto, well, after I use a spell and I auto, I bop for pretty hard. Now we're 2-0. Oh. All right, so nothing's really happening here. It looks like Boku on the right side is trying to poke a bit, getting a little aggressive, but it's not causing any detriment to our team yet um they've got him pushed into tower i'd be careful there because that jungle could go in and attack i actually like to see when the enemy team is um pushed i i'm just going for camps here i'm, I'm telling middle hey i'd like to wait for you but come get your red um i really need to level up um i did steal some xp from blue there you got to get xp where you can i know solos hate it they could kiss my ass like it i need that i need that xp all right, I, I'm just looking to poke here, see if I can grab a Beads or an Aegis or a Blink or something. Uh, I'm not really looking for the kill. Botch that auto there. That auto would have done a lot of damage uh, from the Frostbite. Yep, just poking. Trying to get, trying to give my mid a um, an advantage. Use use some of that mana I have. I feel like I don't burn as much mana with a mirror on Smite 2, the Smite 1. I don't know why. Uh, maybe that's just a feeling because I haven't played Smite 1 in a while. So I'm going to keep jungling here. I'm going to go for my speed. I'm likely going for my graze. And I'm thinking about a gank. But I'm already half health. So I'm more... Oh, shit. Yeah, so I get attacked by Fenrir. I, I secure the yellow. And then I use my blink and I use my one. Not in that order to get away. So he's probably still going to keep pushing. But I get away. So that's a very aggressive Fenrir. He's all over me. But I'm still 2-0. and I'm still jungling pretty well. And we're equal on level. I don't know if we actually are. Let's see who hits level 6 first. My guess is he might because when he attacked me there, if he still decides to go, even though he's a little hurt, he should be going for my grace. Nope, he's ganking middle. But he did get my grace. Wow. Um, So he got my grace. He hit level six. Yeah, he hit level six first. So I'm the one behind. Even at two and oh, I'm the one behind. And I think he may only have one kill. All right, I'm going to share that loot with mid. And I missed my freeze. That should not have happened. I do it sometimes, guys. I don't know. Not good. All right. Grab the gold there. Solo looks like a stalemate. Actually, it looks like she's pushed and uh, Chalk's dominating the middle of the lane. Now I'm trying to do some invades. Uh, I, I mean, they took my gray. It's only fair that I take their yellow. Um, so this should detriment their jungle a little bit. I try to do this as much as possible when we've got middle pushed to kind of pull them out of the tower. All right, so I missed my freeze again. That's not good. Um, and I didn't have blink. So one thing you can do with a mirror, uh, and, and I'm pretty sure there's other gods that can do it too. When I'm fully charging my ult, if they blink out or jump out, I'm actually looking to blink on them. Combat blink does work with your ultimate. Unfortunately, I didn't have it there. I had used it about 40 seconds before on that escape, if you remember from Fenrir. So my ult's down, and I keep missing that freeze. That's not good. Uh, so I think I'm telling duo to back out. Oh, I don't think I did, but they know, uh, I am on comms with Boku. Who's the support and he's dead. No, he's not. He survives. So I think I'm yelling at him. Get out, get out, get out. So Boku really likes to try to stay when he plays support. He's like, I'm going to die for the team. That's great and all, but I don't like that in this game. Don't give away free kills. And I try to tell him that all the time because it's like, yes, you know, I, I, we all appreciate you know you trying to make the team win but if you give them a free kill out of this that's a lot of money that's a lot of money it's better you get back you did your job go recuperate help us win more fights without giving up kills kills matter in this game they're not the ultimate thing it's really objectives and lady frost dies there but boku didn't and had boku stayed we would have lost everybody we we, we would have had a triple kill against us so it, it's good that boku backed out they're still after me, man. I think I die here. I think I die here. Mm. Wow. I don't. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, so Boku's on defense here. 
I'm going back. Uh, okay, so this time, in the last video you saw I bought Polly. I'm going Spear here. I really want to drop their physical defense, and I really want my autos to hurt. Uh, and it's a nice little cheap item that uh, that improves as I level up. Now, late game, I probably want to sell that for Titan's Bane. But right now, I think that's a pretty good item. So I, I like going Spear uh, second item. I know a lot of crit emirs like to get crit almost immediately. It's like, but here's the thing. At the very beginning of the game, you bop really freaking hard. So you keep bopping. Get, get your crit at third item. All right. So I'm going standard re-jungle here on second session. No, this third session of jungle. I'm going for my about 120 plus gold. And yeah, we're looking at about 132 gold here. Boom. All right, I'm looking at middle, but there's nothing there. Middle's too pushed. Just so you know, guys, um, as a jungle, I actually like when you're not pushing up to tower so much. If you can get pop shots, that's great. But if you expect a gank, I do not want a tower dive. I'd prefer that we don't. Solo's in trouble here. I don't know if I see it. Um, oh, I did. I said, be careful left in retreat. So I gave them the heads up. Not too long, but she died anyway. Nothing I can do. I probably should have been over there. I should have been rotating to solo, but I took some of their jungle and boom, bid's dead. And bop. So good job on Lady Frost. Um, th this is what I'm talking about. They went ahead and pushed up. That allowed me to gank, but Lady Frost did most of the work there. She did a lot of the damage. I just came and cleaned up. Honestly, I should have probably given her that kill. Usually on comms though, she'll just say, just take the kill. Um, we don't want them to get away. So solo, we really should be defending solo because we're not. We're doing that kind of game theoretic mentality. Like, hey, we can't get to solo. What can we do here? What can we take advantage of? And that, that's gold fear here. Just making decisions and trying to be advantageous. So now we got gold fury. They got our tower. We got gold fury. We got mid. They got our solo. But now we're in. They got our right tower. So we're going to see if we can get a double kill here. Freeze. Boom. Bop. I don't know, so I don't know if we can get the support here. Um, we're probably going to push and then decide if we're going to tower dive, and I think we are. That's a tower dive. Not even. All right, that's a kill. We're 6-0 now. Um, I think we're calling take the tower here. Yep. Especially that we have the Gorgons and that we have um, that mushroom heal. So the call is take this down as fast as possible. Someone saw the new off for sure. Oh, I paused it. Um, someone saw the new off for sure. And I'm dead. I don't know how I got boosted that quickly. That's crazy. All right. So uh, I believe I, I I didn't see there, but I believe I'm getting crit now. Um, yeah, we just wait till I'm back up. All right, next jungle session, just standard white, white, yellow. And then we see what we can do from there. A lot of times when I gank, I'm actually still trying to jungle as quickly as I can. One thing I've noticed um, is that if you're falling behind, those gray camps are really hard. Like, they're not one shots. Notice how they're one shots. That means that I'm ahead. I'm ahead of the average level. If you look at their team, 999, 10, and 11. Average is probably about 9.75. To about uh, level 10. On our side, 11, 8, 10, 8, 10. Either case, whatever the average level is, be it 10, I'm one level above. So you'll notice that those white camps go down very quickly with uh, with my Amir attacks. If it takes a couple of hits to take those down, that actually means I'm behind. means I shouldn't gain. So right now that I'm ahead, I could either hold the lead, take all the jungle, which is what I believe I'm doing, or look for a gain. Now, the call right now could be that I counter the jungle that's in left lane and I take that gank, but mid's covering for me. Just because mid and solo are going don't mean I have to go. So I'm pretty much, you, you know how like with ADCs, if someone, oh, here we go. We got to fight. I'll tell you in a bit. Okay. You know how like with ADCs, if someone's attacking far left lane and they're in the right lane, they're just going to take the tower. Uh, that they keep pushing the tower for jungle sometimes what i do is i'm like okay i can get over there 
but I'm going to fall behind on levels if, if we can't get the kill. Instead, my version of that, freeze, bop, boom, two, bop, bop. Can I ult? Kill. Nice. Good job, Boku. Um, so, so the decision I make is, hey, I'm going to take their jungle. So I level up. They don't. Now they're making a risk to try to take our towers, and they did. And so now they're ahead. They've got 14 kills. We've got nine. So they're actually making pretty good calls here. They're 3k up. But they're feeding. Boom. So that's another kill. I'm 7-1 and one with one assist. So that's the thing. Our, our team is not doing well. I am. Um, what I would do here is I'd probably rotate a bit more. But I'm really liking how I'm holding the level lead. Well, I did. I'm at 13. He's at 13. So maybe I'm not holding the lead as much. But that team is pretty coordinated on the pushes. Pretty coordinated. We're more on the defensive. Notice how in right lane, uh, Chalk's continuing to push. Remember, he was in the left lane on solo. And it's because we don't have these towers to push back. So it, it's really hard because when the team's not performing like this, and I'm not going to say it's fully the team's fault. Remember, I botched at the beginning. But it's really hard to be everywhere at once. So I'm trying to throw my body in here on right lane. I'm going to go and defend. I'm going to do whatever I can to Chalk. I'm actually doing some good damage uh, with the tower, of course. But still, I mean, that's not bad. Boom, and we're going to take him. Bop. Oh, shit. Wow. Is he going to get away? No, he's not going to get away here. I use the corner of the fan. Man, he's tanky. Yeah, he, he really held off. That was really good. Uh, but we're 8-1-1. One, one. All right, we're going to go for the golden camera here, or this little golden chest. Yeah, and we're, we're just going to try to either keep the lead. Right now, we're keeping the lead or just keep up with that jungle. That I mean, Fenrir is hard right now. I know other people say different. As a mere jungle, I have trouble. All right, so I saw it. So I waited. I tried to wait for that double freeze. I tried to wait for that ult. I saw the double freeze. I went for it. I died. But it's because I ended up tanking. But hopefully my team can, can take advantage of that. No, no, no. We're just going in one at a time. That's too bad. Let's see if we can do something about it. And Boku is uh, dropping some stuns, but we get attacked from the rear. I really wish I'd show you that, but I'm I'm doing some analysis, I guess. Yeah, not good. So now our team's behind 4K. So now I'm wondering why I'm showing you guys this video. I guess I guess I'm showing you my performance. So really what we're looking for here, I, I don't remember if we win or lose, but really what we're looking for here, can our team can our team recover? Can we get a victory out of this? So I'm hard carrying right now at nine and two. Do I make a difference? If we lose, I don't know. I'm still gonna upload this. But it will probably show more mistakes. It probably shows more greedy gameplay where I'm getting the kills, but we don't win. But what I'd like to see here is no chasing on the support side. Notice, um, you know, Bacchus is low on mana. Good. He's going back. He sees that. We really should be going for those jungles like that red on the right. Um, I'm going to get my... It's 144 gold now. Man, that's really good. You guys should be going for those white camps. Those are really good. We're going to gank in middle. He's overstepping. He doesn't have wards. Sucks to suck. And I miss. He's still there, though. Oh, man. That was good. I. Oh, man. I think he takes me for a run here. I think he takes me for a run. I remember. I think I remember this. This duo was really good. Oh, yeah. I think I die here. Oh, yeah. I, oh, man. Yo, shout out to that new one. That was a really good play. Like, he just took me for a loop. Sometimes, guys, I get tilted. That nine and three. So that their team is really coming together. Twenty-one kills, thirteen to our thirteen. Uh, they, they got six k, almost seven k up. Guys, maybe we should be watching their team. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, we're just uh, one and five, nine and three, zero four. Yeah, we're not doing well as a team. And sometimes, you know, teams just don't click. Sometimes teams just don't click. Let's see if Deeth can do anything. Probably not. She's not fighting a fair fight here. She's fighting a fight against her advantage. She's three uh, three levels under. Your middle tower Your middle I'm still doing well, minus that last play and minus that botch at the beginning. Um, but we got crit up now. 
So let's see what we can do with it. But they're already pushing to our, our Phoenix. It might be too late for crit, honestly. Let's see. Let's see if we can pull it together. Uh, she's going to stun me if we get close. Walls up. Boom. Do we got it? Oh, she's still going through that. Oh, I guess she walks through walls with that now. Oh, that sucks. All right. I think she got away. Freeze. Can we get him? Throw a wall. Blink through. Oh, man. That's not good. Yo, that new wall has been, like, really pulling me in. So, that could be something you can think of. Like, as new wall, with that new phase shift, you can really pull people into the jungle. And So, I got into the jungle, and then I decided to back off after I got stunned. But that Fenrir coming in, I got baited, because he's pretty freaking tanky, man. We couldn't take him down. He had that shield. We couldn't take him. I'm at 9-4 and four now. They were able to collapse. This team is performing very well as opposed to our team it's 1325 now is that 13 yeah it's 1325 lady frost uh throws an ult sees if she can get a free kill couldn't see those uh, health bars she's defending left man i'm really wondering if we pull it together now 20 minutes in Boku's getting chased. I like seeing this as a mirror. I like setting up traps in the jungle, but they saw me. Uh, had I not peeked the corner, I might have been able to get somebody. So even though I know that they're kind of pushing in, um, I, I still am going for that speed buff. I'm letting my team try to get some of the spells out, maybe tank a couple hits. I am not a tank as jungle. I am a fat assassin. So that's how I need to be playing. All right, I'm trying to scope to see if there's anything I can do. I see them jumbled. We're going to get the double freeze. Come on, one. One kill. Can we get out of it? So notice how I actually tried to break off so I didn't take more spells. You know, like when we kind of jumbled up, I tried to break off from my team. I don't want to take those hits. And I think we finally can take new. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm tilted. Yo, this new wall is crazy good. She just stuns me every time. I'm tilted. Look, I'm not even looking. So now we are about 10k gold down. 28 to 15. I, I don't think we pull it together. I'm 10 and 5. I don't think we pull it together. So now what I'm going is I'm going for... Um, the what is it the katana uh because i want that little bit of crit and the movement speed that's really what i'm looking for here nice little kind of cheap item i guess i don't i don't remember the cost to be honest so remember i went from like six and zero to ten and five so and it was all that new one just setting me up so i mean this is what happens when you get tilted it's kind of you got to kind of reset boom i mean we're we're just falling for shit now right you got to find a way to reset like the best players will be able to recover from mistakes. Like, I don't want to just upload videos where I'm just like, ah, oh, fucking 10 and 0 and they, you know, they, they F6 at 15 or 10 or whatever. Like, let's see if I recover. I don't, I don't know if I do. And bop. All right. So we finally got that new wall. Gathering somewhere around gold. Bo Boku's over there, really out of position. He shouldn't be there. I, I'm not going in because the problem is that's their two tanks. I throw my three, I throw my two, I throw my ult. And then, you know, um, on her can come in and just F me up, dude. But I decide to finally go. Uh, Boku wasted a lot of her spells, honestly. Let's see if it ends up working out. I think it does. Okay, so I did a... 360 no scope on that on that shock. Whoa, it did work. Good job, Boku. So I was questioning what Boku was doing. I waited to go in, and as a mirror, I tend to wait. I, I I look for certain spells to go down. I noticed their I think their heal went down. I don't remember, but I mean they wasted a lot of spells on him. So he actually did his job to the T, man. Uh, yeah. So I went in and cleaned him up. So now we're 13 and five. 
Can we do something here? I hope we can. I see that ult. I need to get out. I need to get out. Um, I actually said it with my mic off, so. <laughs> and... Man, that's too bad we couldn't get him. And Lady Frost didn't have her ult on Ua to, to clean that up. That's fine. We took the tower. All right, we're starting to recover a bit. I think I call... Yeah, I call Pyro here for the bomb. I mean, a new wall plus a Gorgon plus a bomb. We're, we're taking two towers and a Phoenix with that. And I think Boku gets cleaned up. He went back too late. Um, That's too bad. I remember him telling me about it. He was like, oh, man. They heard me over the wall. All right, I'm going for attack speed crit. It's our 19 to their 32. We're still quite a bit behind. But we made a bit of a recovery. We're only about 8.5k behind now, I think. We were like 10k behind. Top damage. Let's go, baby. 13 and 5. I should be going speed, but I see them on gold. So, what do I do here? And, yeah. I, I try to ult... Um, yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I ulted Bacchus and the Gold Fury, but it didn't do as much damage as I had hoped. I don't have magic damage. Maybe if I had Polly. All right, so that jungle comes in. Man, that messes me up. Yep, there's Nuwa, and I couldn't clean it up. Maybe if I got my two out and a lucky crit. It was just me there. That's too bad. Let's see if my team cleans up. So really, I shouldn't have... I mean, I did a bit of a cleanup, but I, I really should have gotten out. There's Boku. Boku, do, do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? Probably gets away. On her took out our solo. There's her ult. I guess that's a little bit of a thing. We got Lady Frost pushing on left lane, which is good. Why is keeping him busy? She needs to keep pushing. I think Boku's dead here. Boku should have gotten out a long time ago. I think um, just giving away free kills. We can't. It, we can't really continue to do that. Twenty-one thirty-six. We're down big. Uh, we're 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 down pretty much ten k now. It's like nine point eight k. Yeah, I don't. Do we pull this together? I don't know. There's, there's like 10 minutes left in this video, so. But it's not looking like it. It just looks like our team chemistry, we, we can't get it locked down. That's unfortunate. Alright, we got a little bit of Winions on that middle tower. Honestly, I'm just looking for gold so I can finish my build here. And at this point, it's 162 gold. That's not bad. Get a little bit of this free gold. Now, my question is, let's look. How much team gold is it? 30 team gold each. Not bad. That's 200 gold. That's almost a gold fury, guys. Well, for me. For me. Not for the full team. All right. Do a little bit of poking. We got uh, someone out of position in left lane. That's Fenrir. But he just got a kill on our Neath. That's not good. Now he's trying to take out our solo. And he just did. But I took him out. But they still got a plus one on us. No, they did. Yeah, they got a plus one on us. I took out Fenrir. He took out our ADC and solo. Man, we can't catch a break here. All right, heading back. Your right tower is under All right. So we're heading to right lane. Right we're on defense, man. I, I, I'm i just trying to see if I can get something out of this on her. I think I'm getting a little tilted here. Oh, nope. I got new off. So this is an unfair fight in on, on their end. We were full health, full mana. 
That on her was half health, and I had Lady Frost. That was good. Do you see how Lady Frost just completely bypassed the Bacchus and went straight for on her and caused the stun? That was perfect because, like, I feel like a lot of players try to. We got another kill on the sport 16 6, uh, four assists. Um, it feels like a lot of players just go for what's in front of them. They get tunnel vision. Lady Frost said, fuck that. If I can get the on her, we won this fight. And she was right. Um, that was a good play. That was a really good play. Uh, it seems simple, but guys, remember, there, you know, sometimes simplicity is the most elegant, right? She just said, you know what? I'm going to let my minions take the autos from on her. I'm going straight for on her. I don't even care about Bacchus. Boom. Easy win. We take them both out. That was the, that was a good call. I don't remember who called it on comms, but like it looks seamless. It looked like she made the call. Attack. All right, pushing on middle tower. Things are starting to look up, even though we're way behind. 2640. We're down 10K, but we're making a push. But see, they got three guys down now. Bacchus is up. We got to make a move now, or we're going to be fighting at the disadvantage. So I decided to focus on Chalk here. I'm not exactly sure why, I, you know. I should have probably gone for the tower. I guess I thought I could get him. Uh, Lady Frost doesn't have an ult. No, we need to get out. Boku, Boku again, he's really low. Guys, as support, do not be there that low. You're going to give away free kills. You got to find a way to get out. All right, protecting Neath there. Lady Frost went in on her own. She should get cleaned up here. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, that wasn't Lady Frost. That was Solo. Yeah, I think I remember. I was like, Lady Frost, what are you doing? She's like clearing left lane. I, I remember that now. I, I don't know why the solo went in. That's just really, really bad play. She went in as Nuwa. I just got a message. One of... uh. One of my liquor stores has an E.H. Taylor small batch. I, you guys may not know bourbon, but that's one I like to get. It's pretty hard to get around here, so. Got some guys giving me tips. They scratch their back, they scratch yours. It's pretty good. All right, getting my golden camera. All right, so we got an attack on Neath. Uh, we got new uh, new I just cleaned him up. So now we got a 2v2 in mid with Lady Frost. Thing is, I trust Lady Frost uh, to be able to clean up. I don't know if it's going to happen here, though. Does she get away? I'm not worried about it right now. I think I'm worried about finishing my build. Get some lifesteal, some movement speed. Well, I don't, does it cause movement speed? I think it does still. But it's lifesteal for sure. And we're getting cleaned up. But Lady Frost got out. Um, so that was really good on her. And free new wall kill? Dude, I'm telling you, this new wall is crazy good. I got her though. I had to, I had to slide my uh, mouse right to be able to get her on that swing. I gotta call Lady Frost is out and about right now. I gotta call her to go pick up that uh that whiskey. It's a really good one. It, it makes a great gift. It's 52 bucks. It's an E.H. Taylor small badge. You guys can Google it if you want. It's man, it's really good. I gave one away to a friend uh this last weekend, and he was like, oh. Fuck, this is good. Like, yeah, man. Only get the good shit. All right, I'm probably thinking gold here, but more is setting up uh, an ambush just because I don't like to go gold. Uh, it's already fucking gone. Uh oh, we got a real team fight here. All right, I got to protect Lady Frost. Tell her to turn around. Isolate, isolate. Oh, man, can I get him? Nope. Dude, he cleaned her up. Shit. That's on me. I, I have that freeze, I think. And I panicked. I wasn't hitting him with my autos. We lost two for two, but they got gold. So they won that fight. There's some stag juniors uh, in Far East Dallas. God dang it, man. That's too big of a drive for me. I, I mean, I could do it, but that would waste my whole day. I got work to do. I, I'm trying to get you guys content. I can't be getting good whiskey. All right, so uh, I ended the I ended the build with a uh, Titan's Bane. So I went ahead and sold the spear because at level twenty, I don't think it's really giving us much. I'm at eighteen kills, six deaths, uh, four assists. We're twenty eight kills, forty six, and we just lost a guy. So, oh man, come on, boom! 
Got him with my two. Can I clean up? Oh, nice. Man, I've been having trouble with that new one all freaking day. Can I clean up Fenrir? No. It's not looking good. I think we lose this, actually. 19 and 7. Funny enough, if we had won that fight there, I think we could have turned it around. But even even being like almost fuck at this point, like twenty or ten or fifteen K behind, it seems like we could still contend. It's just our team just keeps going in one at a time and and not clicking. Yeah, nineteen seven five. Damn. 30 to 48. Yeah, we're on full defense now. We get one more wipe, we're done. And I think it's going to happen. Two minutes left in the game. What's the chances of us making it all, all the way to Titan in two minutes? I think we lose here. Good game. All right, so going for speed. Honestly, like I think I think I'm just looking like in my head, I'm probably saying it's pentakill or nothing, or at, at the very least a deicide, or or we can't do this. I'm not gonna waste my spells on tanks, guys. Stop wasting your spells on tanks. When you do that, you're doing their job. You're doing their job yourself. You're doing their job for them. So don't do that. So I noticed chalks and right. That's isolation. Guys, a mere jungle, 1v1s. That's what it does. So I think what I'm trying to do is I need to defend one, but two, I need to isolate. I need to 1v1 and I'm freaking screwed. God, that Fenrir's everywhere. And I'm done. I would have been able to take that chalk 1v1 and I probably would have been able to take that Fenrir 1v1, but not at the same time. I didn't have a freeze. Boku's doing his best. Uh, he's doing good damage, but he needs to get out. He's not 20. Lady Frost probably needs to push in there. She's not. Um, I think I'm just trying to get a power potion at this point. Come on, Lady Frost. Pull it together. No, she's done. Nice. Good kill, me. But they keep coming. And there's not much we can do. Boom. Boku's done. Oof. And that's game well guys thanks for hanging out um so so why did i choose this video i don't know i guess i guess when i chose this video and said i'm gonna save this for later i was recording over the weekend and i was like i probably did okay here we could talk about tactics but yeah my team just could not pull it together guys i'm, I'm so sorry um you know sometimes you're gonna have teams that can't like look i made a lot of mistakes the very beginning i let my duo get double killed and i only pulled out one kill from that almost two and then you know a couple times solo got ganked and i just couldn't get across and so i made the call i couldn't get across the map so i made the call to get their jungle it did keep me ahead but then i wonder you know had i let that solo keep keep you know you know getting money with that solo kept you know face planting into a five man team which did happen i i think it was just it was probably not a good game to record but hopefully you learned something and i like hanging out with you guys anyway so please comment uh you know leave some uh thoughts you know good or bad i you know give me give me a thought sandwich give me a good and a bad and then throw another good in it if you can um i just don't want negative comments across all my social media it's all negative shit yeah, yeah give me something good man um, and then also, you know, hey, like, and subscribe. I've been doing this, believe it or not, I'm on year four, year five. Uh, let's, let's let the algorithm work for us. Let's get more people in our community. So if, if you stayed till now, consider throwing a like and a subscribe and you know, uh, I don't know, wait for the next video, turn those notifications on anyway, guys, definitely listen to frosty jams. Uh, 
listen to the new beat lab playlist for halloween it is halloween soon this upcoming stream is going to be a spoopy stream i'm going to get this video out today uh yeah see you at the next one